There's a famous proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. But is this true? I recently read a book called Give and Take by Adam Grant, where he investigates this very question. How does being a giver or a taker impact you, the people around you, and the things you achieve? Yale psychologist Margaret Clark found that most of us tend to act like givers in close relationships, but tend to act more like takers in competitive environments. In competitive environments, we feel like we have to look out for ourselves and be tough. If it hurts others, so be it. But the research warns us of the effects that being a taker can have on our relationships, our achievements, and our reputation. People tend to root for and want to help givers. They tend to root against takers. Givers' success spreads, while takers' success comes at the expense of someone else. Givers often help other people solve problems, therefore they become better problem solvers. Takers tend to hoard credit, neglect the value of teamwork, and overlook the people that help them achieve their success. Givers ask questions, show vulnerability, and admit that they don't know everything. Takers hesitate to do this because they see it as weakness. So yes, the proverb is absolutely true. Be a giver, not a taker.